What is the mission of the greys here among us on Earth? Well, humanity is very far from understanding extraterrestrials, very far from grasping the reality of these beings. First of all, the question is, what are the ETs doing here on Earth? Specifically, what are the greys doing here on Earth? The first thing is that the Earth Project is an extremely grand, extremely complex project to keep it running. There are nearly 8 billion souls incarnated today, and you have no idea the number of disincarnate souls. It doesn't reach 8 billion, but it's still a massive number of souls. So the question is, why aren't there as many spirits in the astral plane? Because the earthly astral plane wasn't created to host spirits there. It was made to host people here, incarnated. So, the more spirits incarnated, the better. Because the purpose of the project is for souls to experience physical life, not to remain in the astral plane. The number of spirits in the astral plane only increases when souls from other worlds come here preparing to incarnate. When we look at the Earth Project from this perspective, the Greys, like all extraterrestrials and all spirits involved in coordinating the Earth Project, do a lot of work to keep things organized with 8 billion incarnated souls and billions of disincarnate souls on the other side. It's a grand, difficult, complex task, right? And most extraterrestrials work to keep all this functioning. They bring technologies, transport souls, and build all the dwellings and infrastructure in the astral plane using technology unimaginable to us. It's done very quickly and efficiently when necessary. And there's something very, very important you need to learn. ETs, not just the greys, but in general, see us as part of one big family. They see themselves as one big family, and when they work here for planet Earth, it's as if they're working for their own family. They view us as part of their family. They understand the importance of every soul living and experiencing in this world, and they know that each soul awakens here in a very intense way. The earthly experience is very intense for the soul, for the spirit, and they understand the importance of all this. They work intensely, intensely to keep everything functioning from the beginnings of humanity. I want you to understand that both the Greys and any other operational extraterrestrial race have been working here since the world began, but they have a fleet. Their whole race is not here, just part of it. UST, a percentage of their breed, operates on Earth. They always change people. Sometimes some stay here for five years operating, then change, and other people come. They do this rotation. ETs doesn't stay here for 10,000 years in prison because they are not trap creatures. They are free creatures, so they take turns in their missions. The gray race itself, how many billions of greys are there in the galaxy? They are operating and carrying out missions, and sometimes they leave with a whole fleet. It's very funny because there isn't a gray left on Earth. Sometimes they all leave. They stay out for a while, and then comes another gray fleet. Then a whole new group arrives here on Earth. His question is whether the greys are a collective soul. All advanced beings are group souls. All of us are group souls, even though we don't yet realize it. In the lower astral levels, souls are still very individualized. But as souls ascend to higher levels, people are no longer individuals. The sense of individuality begins to fade. As we shed denser bodies, eliminating the denser bodies, the connectivity of consciousness with other souls in the universe grows immensely. So we lose some of that personal ego since here. We are individual egos formed by our lives here. It would be funny if we gathered all our incarnations on Earth. What kind of ego would we have? How many languages would we be speaking now? Just by gathering the experiences we've had here. It's like adding up past lives, which we currently don't remember. So from there, we must understand that the Greys are here on Earth on a mission coordinated by the Planetary Command of Earth. Every time there's a meeting in the astral world to decide our civilization's destiny, the Greys are part of this decision-making commission. They are extremely important and of higher rank within the hierarchy of the Earth Project. Do you understand me? You must realize that during the time of Jesus, the Greys were already in command here, 
part of the Ashton Command, a group of races that operate and command the entire Earth project. The Greys are integral to this planetary command, this Ashton Command of Earth. So all decisions, everything that will happen to the world, the civilization, the planet, pass through the Greys. The Greys have a higher command that makes decisions alongside other planetary commands. The Greys are the great technical engineers, and much of the machines and computers that operate in the astral plane are Grey technology. They repair, replace, maintain, and train people to operate them. The question is, will the Ashta Command still be the same in the Age of Light? Yes, it will be practically the same. The only change will be in the laws. The command, even up there, does not have people in lifetime positions. There's a constant rotation of leadership. Just like a president, they rotate every five years because no individual remains in a position or a process for thousands of years as that wouldn't make sense. For instance, suppose we have 10 races in command. Even within these races, individuals are constantly rotated to keep the project running. We need to think far beyond to understand ETs, or we won't grasp it. People oversimplify. To most, everything is God. But God is far removed from all this. Those who work, operate, and make things happen are people, beings, but very advanced beings. They perform miracles, so you would call them gods. Like reviving a dead person after months, like Lazarus. It has nothing to do with God. It's about extremely advanced technology that understands the workings of this biological body here. It's like swapping parts of an android. The creator knows how to fix it and can replace parts when needed. And they make the parts on their 3D printers. If someone needs a new heart, they don't need to take it from someone else to transplant. They'll just create it. Our biological technology level is approaching lab-grown tissues. We're close to cultivating organs in labs soon, but we're not quite there yet. Soon, we'll be able to cultivate a liver or a heart, just a heart. We'll grow a kidney, cultivate it for transplants, and it'll come from the same donor, eliminating compatibility issues. They'll clone cells from one's own body and grow the tissue, all cultivated in a lab. And that's still primitive compared to their technology. Really advanced technology is at another level. It's like Dr. Fritz, who materializes organs instantly for those who need them. No cutting is required. Surgeries don't involve any incisions. The greys don't cut a person open for surgery. They don't make a single cut. They can replace any organ without any incision, without shedding a drop of blood. So, let me show you the areas the greys work in so you can understand their role on Earth. Otherwise, people think they're evil and are here for sinister reasons, working with the American government, plotting in Area 51, transferring technology. Poor humans. First, the greys are part of the Ashton Command, okay? Second, they are the great technicians and engineers of technology in the astral plane. Everything used in the astral, someone has to make. Who makes the jar? Who builds the computers, the flying disks, the machines, all the medical equipment? Everything they implant in you for free. Third, the greys monitor the progress of our civilization. Monitoring means they observe to ensure things stay on track. Nothing is out of place. For example, if it's decided there won't be a nuclear war, someone has to keep tabs on the people in charge of that year, and the greys monitor certain individuals around the clock. If anyone becomes problematic, they can cause a heart attack in that person to show that humans here don't hold real power. There's a higher control. 
People believe they have power and control, but they don't. They haven't been given that authority. It's silly to think that you are controlling something here. You are not. The Greys look after all of you who are close to me, who resonate with this ideology, who want to grow and understand the Greys. All of you are being monitored. They work with people who want contact with them. They find it important for people to have this desire. They'll assist, prepare, and change people's consciousness. They implant advanced technologies into our being. I laugh when people talk about chips, you know, physical chips. They implant big things. Box this size here. Chip is small. They deploy big things, machines, devices, sticks to the head, sticks to the neck. A person who is going to be a medium, they stick a bigger device here. Everything is controlled via an interface. It's super cool. You need to understand that in the universe, there is no magic. Only technology you don't understand, which appears magical.